are all speed bumps. I mean, you could argue that Remand is even less useful than the Muddle is, because Muddle finds uh, an Exile effect. You could argue that Remand is even less exciting than Medillion Click, although Remand does hit their flashback lootings. So actually, I still like Remand, because they're very much a faithless looting deck. Anybody that tells you anything differently hasn't played the matchup that much yet. It is a relatively new archetype, and that's exciting for Modern. For Modern to actually have a dredge deck is really cool. Uh, there, have there have been people that have tried to build it several times. I think that they may have finally, with the printing of the new cards, I think that there may finally be a viable dredge. So it's, it's worth talking about sideboard plans for it. Yeah. I would also consider even muddling a Faithful Saluting Flashback, uh, because it's just that, that scary. So that's my sideboard plan for, for Dredge. So you have to decide between Ma Remand and Muddle. Um, yeah. Actually, I think I'm going to still go with the Remand, though, the extra Remand. I feel like I'm only going to bring in the third Muddle when I need it as more than just a Tutor. When I need it as also a Counterspell, I think, is when the third one comes in. So um, we look kind of like this against them. Let's do a new sideboard plan. Okay, so this one was for uh, sideboard against Modern Dredge. This is kind of fun, doing these sideboard plans. I feel like I'm starting to get more familiar with how the deck is, well, sideboarding. So, Dredge. New Dredge, is that what it's called? Modern Dredge? I've heard it called both. Let's open a new copy. So what am I doing for uh, Infect? That is a great question. Um, yes, <laughs> that is a relevant question. We did have a lot of tools for, tools for Infect, but we did inevitably, what, lose. So let's uh, reassess, reevaluate, and see if we can switch things up. Angers are so strong across a lot of different matchups. Yeah. So I like that we have a playset. Um, okay, so against Infect, I don't really want to tap out for any of these walkers except for maybe Chase. What's funny, Infect can sometimes try to go wide. I would maybe consider at least Jace. Um Nahiri does answer that big scary enchantment, so I would consider maybe one or more copies. Things that aren't so good against Infect. Um, if you think they're going to bring in a lot of enchantment removal, excuse me, artifact removal, you do take out uh, Brain Beck. We can leave in uh, Odds and Ends, by the way. Uh, it does have a chance to counter a pump spell. It also has, of course, the ever awesome uh, They Sacrifice Two Attacking Creatures mode. Uh, I would actually curve it here, though. We're going to hope to survive and get to cast that mode on that, because they usually swing two or more creatures. Uh, it's the same reason why this is more exciting for us than the Celestial Flare is. Not just because it's potentially a two-for-one, but Celestial Flare is kind of awkward against Bogles and an Infect or any other deck that you want to have uh, an Edict in white. Uh, because, or like against Thrun, because they have the chance to be attacking with multiple creatures, we already tested Flare. We tested Flare against things like Infect, and we tested Flare against things like Bogles and Thrun. It was a little awkward. Yes, it's a tutor target, just like uh, Muddle can find. But the thing is, is a lot of the time your opponent's attacking with two creatures, so you're actually happy, uh, especially with the brain doing it, but you're actually happy paying the extra mana on this thing. Um, also, white white's hard for us, so there are other reasons why this was awkward in our deck. Um, this is just the more flexible card. The fact that if they do have the nuts, I have the chance to roll the dice and, and maybe win, uh, or just get to the uh, the five mana portion. So even without brain, this matchup, but uh, we may not. So what uh, what else is awkward? Remains all that not all that great against infect. Um, it's okay. Again, like, Infect kind of falls into that category of just super aggressive deck where some of these spells just are kind of... we're not going to get to. Um, same can be said for Cryptic. Um, cryptic tapping is fine, but they're going to bring in what? They're going to bring in Dispel. So, um, it's only so good. Timely comes out, by the way. Um, so I have three spots. I mean, we could still run the, rem uh, the Remands. They're not awful. Like, they're not unplayable against... In fact, they can sometimes save your butt. They're very good against their uh, their Delve Pump spell, for example. Very good against that particular spell. Most In Fact don't run more than one or two of that spell. Five color brain. No, uh, three color brain. So what do you guys think? Do we go with the Remands or do we go with Jace and uh, these? 
I like the way that Bird Brain lines up against Infect, but I also don't necessarily... I mean, maybe we bring it back in if we don't see a lot of Artifact hate. Um, I still think it's Odds and Jace, actually. Brain to Light. I actually think it's still these three cards instead of the Remand. I mean, Remand is fine. Again, like I said, it's not unplayable in the matchup. Uh, it can draw us more quickly to some of the spells we need to see. But as far as Haymakers that can line up okay against Infect, uh, Jace and Odds Ends are actually kind of the finishers that I'd like. So, For example, like Anger, not so good against Ink Moth. We'll be hoping to draw our Tech Edges uh, or see the Wear Tears. All of these are fine answers for Ink Moth Nexus. Coolius likes the odds ends. The odds ends is really cool. Yeah. It curves here when you have brain. When you don't, it could curve either here or it could be here. So you need to be aware of that. If you're bringing out brain in a jar, this card is now all of a sudden that much mana or this much mana. So it's not just one mana anymore uh, it, or two mana. It's it's going to be potentially five. So Is Celestial Purge really that good? Uh, no. Thank you. Um... Remand. Thank you. I missed that one. Thank you. Um, what else? It's kind of disappointing how bad the other Esper split cards are, though. Yeah. How good has Tech Edge been? Ghost Quarters usually way better versus Infect. It is. Uh, I didn't order Ghost Quarters. How much are they? I bet they're not that expensive. I could try to get my hands on some before the, uh... We could just make it two Ghost Quarters. I mean, here's here's an argument to still just... Wow. Jeez. I remember this card was like dirt nothing. Okay. Okay. Even with this many printings, it's still about a ticket to two tickets for one Ghost Quarter. Ugh. Ugh. That grosses me out because I remember when that card was pennies. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we might want to test two Ghost Quarters. It's faster against Tron, faster against Infect, so that's important. Cheap, pretty sure. It's not cheap in paper, but that's fine. I can get my hands on some. Um, yeah, I mean, like, if we want to be better against Infect and Tron, you, those two become Ghost Quarters. Yeah. I think my favorite printing of Ghost Quarter is this one. Either this one, or there's another printing of Ghost Quarter that I like, which was the, uh... Well, I like the original art on that, actually, because it's nostalgic for me. They're also the most expensive to get your hands on, so... I had a bunch of these. Jeez, wow. Okay. Yeah, if you want to be better against Infect, they should be Ghost Quarters. That's a true statement. That is gross. So maybe we sideboard like that. I mean, again, like, tapping out for Jace is not all that exciting. Honestly, it might just be you run two Reman, two odds. Yeah. Yeah. That might be how I want to sideboard against. Like, the only spell maybe I'm comfortable tapping out for is Anger, and he helps you with those sorceries. I mean, here's the thing to think about. Like, Anger is fine if I also have something to answer an Ink Moth efficiently. So, yeah. This would make us make this would make me better against, in fact, a couple Ghost Quarters. Yeah, it would. It would. And also, I've got Path anyway, so like, is Ghost Quarter really doing a good job cutting my... Or is Tech Edge really doing all that much to my opponent's mana? Not really. It's not. I mean, sometimes you can mana screw somebody, but that's something I've always wondered about. Some blue at red lists that run Tech Edge is... Well, you're running Path, so are you really screwing your opponent on mana anyway? In the matchups, you're not pathing, yeah, but... There are plenty of matchups in Modern that involve Path, so... it's a reason I'm continuing and continuing to run at least a 2-3 to three of, so... I mean, some lists want four. I've been getting away okay with three. Uh, another card I would consider for us would be... Uh, like, the third Verman has come out several times already, by the way. I would consider a Declaration in Stone. But that's not so good against Infect either. Declaration in Stone is a tutorable exile effect from Muddle, but... I think we'll be alright. A lot of the same creatures that I would be trying to exile, I could just Muddle and set up uh, an odds ends, so, an ends, rather, so, yeah, that's fine. So this is probably my sideboard plan for, uh, 
for Infect. It's not wonderful. I wish, and I wish instead of two remands, I had something different to run, like a hard counter instead of a soft one. But I'll get over it. I think I think that's fine. So this is our sideboard plan potentially for Infect. We're getting through this. All right. So what was the other one? We had somebody who said they wanted to see my sideboard plan for Affinity. As a good, as a good point. Uh, okay. Sideboard plan for Affinity. Hmm. I assume it's going to look similarly, but again, I'm still going to do that whole... Just to get my brain working in that mindset, I'm still going to do the whole just chunk it in. And uh, what type of Affinity? There are a bunch of different types of Affinity. Are we talking about the, uh, the Affinity that also runs, you know, various things like Galvanic Blast? Ghost Quarter's fine in this matchup. They have Man Lance, so... Yeah, that's another matchup where the Ghost Quarter's happy to be there. Protect and serve. Oh, you guys are looking at more Fuse spells? Okay, so... Affinity. Um... Probably will not have enough time to do that to an Affinity player. I would still consider Jace because Affinity, if you slow them down, they typically... Wow, the anger is nuts in this matchup too. Probably more nuts in this matchup than it is in Fect, actually. Anger of the Gods, I would argue. Um, how good is Odds and Ends in this matchup? That, I'm not all that... I mean, I like it against Infect because it also shenanigans their pump spells. I don't really like this that much against Infect. Now, if we're staying on Bird Brain, you know, you know, Beck, Beck Brain, uh, I, I, I probably consider. Right, these are actually here on the curvature against Affinity Flux out, Vendillion Click out, um, Purge probably out. Uh, Remand is hilariously bad against Affinity. They are very mana efficient. You kind of want to use that to deck so you can kind of trip up with it. Muddles find Wear Tears. I think we keep the playset. This will just be a tutor for finding these. Um, two cuts. Okay. Uh, um, I mean, I like the way that this lines up in the affinity match to the point where I don't necessarily care. Spell Snare is great in this matchup. Uh, I don't necessarily care if they do bring in... Far Away is excellent in, in Esper Brain, yes. What do you guys think against Affinity? I need to make two more cuts. Thoughts. Sorry. I think I think that it's close. Like, I think that I want to... <sighs> There's a couple cards here that we really... Like, Cryptic is so awkward against Affinity, by the way. It's... Especially with the Manlands. It's the same reason it's a little bit awkward against, uh, against Infect. That calls him wonderful. Would you drop Lighthouse? You lowered your curve, and it's effectively really slow and doesn't fix. Would I drop Lighthouse? I don't think so. But maybe. Uh, if we drop, if we go to 24 lands, I need to add another cantrip. Um, I'd like 25 lands. I don't know, there's like a lot of matchups, like I haven't been able to just like do this. <laughs> there are plenty of matchups that have been won on the back of this. So I'm not sure how I feel about Lighthouse in this new list just yet. Okay, so two cards need to come out. I mean, like,